What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. Let's get right into it. Here to bring you another NFL prediction video on top free agent center J.C. Treader. I believe he will sign with the Super Bowl contending Tampa Bay Buccaneers after Ryan Jensen is most likely ruled out for the season. Let's talk about it. So, I've been doing videos on Treader all offseason long since he's been cut by the Browns. Um, I said the Dolphins might snatch him. I said the Niners might snatch him. The Vikings might snatch him. And now it makes sense. You know, uh, vets like him are smarter than guys like me. I'm like, why hasn't he signed? I'm sure teams offered. I'm sure teams been ringing on his door and, you know, banging his door down, talking to his agent. What's the problem? What's the hold up? And you're waiting for the training camp injuries. Duh. <laughs> Obviously, it makes sense. And, you know, it sucks to see a guy like Ryan Jensen, Jensen go down. Iron Man, tough guy. I like him. He's a real nasty guy, too. I like him. I'm, I'm a former D-lineman my, my, uh, self, so he's an old lineman, I know. But I like going against nasty linemen, you know, and uh, nasty physical guys. He's one of those guys I like a lot. I, lo I love watching. And, uh, you know, to see him probably miss the season, it uh, it definitely sucks. You know, there's no ruling on it yet, but they saying they were saying the swelling was so bad, he couldn't uh, – they couldn't tell what the injury is yet until it, it goes down and um, – the Tampa Bay Buccaneers fear that it could be some torn ligaments. So uh, it'd probably be out for the rest of the year. Uh, reports coming from Tampa Bay right now is that Robert Hainsey, a uh, former third round pick in 2021, will get the nod right now. Uh, they're going to try him out during training camp and they'll see at least for you know, a couple days or so or weeks, whatever, to see if he's a good fit You know, with the O-line. They did draft him that high for a reason, pretty solid. Uh, lineman he has experience everywhere on the o-line which is great to have you know i love guys like that who's very versatile you, you can't put in the box you can fill in anywhere but to be honest though i think they will end up with jc treader um it's all good to have a guy like hainsey i believe i said his name correctly but this is a, a proverbial super bowl or, or bus squad you know what i'm saying and uh in in year you know tom brady just retired and unretired during his off season, you know, rumor has it he was trying to go to the, to, to the Dolphins so and get some ownership stake there. So the, that could be why he retired, uh, trying to play his hand there. But whatever, he still end up retiring, coming back and stuff like that. You got Julio, um, you got you made moves. Chris Godwin signed a franchise uh, tag. Um, you know, you, you got moves to, to win now. You got uh, who's the safety they got? Um, shucks, that safety. I love that move a lot. I forgot, though. But, yeah, they, they got some good pieces. They add Russell Gage Jr., who I love a lot. He's going to be a monster this year, I'm telling you. But overall, though, like as I said, the Bucks are in win-now mode and fell into their laps right now is the best center. Well, not the best in the league, definitely not. But he's probably top five, top, top five centers in the league right now still, and that's J.C. Treader. As I said, uh, I did multiple prediction videos on them. <laughs> you know, the time keep passing. I'm like, okay, what's going on? I did the Dolphins that first, and that was prior to them signing Armstead and Williams. Or maybe they, it, it might have had Williams already, but they signed. They haven't signed Armstead yet. I'm like, what better way, you know, um, to get him, get, get Williams, get Treader, and get Armstead, you know. I did a prediction video on uh, Armstead going to the Dolphins as well earlier in the offseason. And uh, two of the moves happened, Williams and Armstead, no treader yet. I still think I still think he'll be a great fit there. Uh, time passed. I did last, uh, not last week, a couple months back, I did uh, treader to the Vikings. That makes sense there. Their center there, I forgot his name right now, Bradbury, I believe. Some, G. Bradbury. forgot his, his full name or whatever. But uh, he's been there going on his fourth year now, and he's been very underwhelming. I think uh, the Vikings could have a top five, top ten offense, and the O-line is pretty solid. I think Treader will be a great addition there, but still no move. And I, and I said in a, in a prior video, too, J.C. Treader's dad, he liked my video on uh, Twitter, uh, the, the prediction video to, to the minutes on the Vikings. So I thought that was a lot. I thought it was confirmed. That was months ago, about a month ago now, two months ago. Nothing happened. <laughs> move is still is still silent on his on him being signed, so it makes perfect sense. Him going to the Bucks, him going to a title title contending team makes all the sense in the world. You know, uh, the Niners. Um, I think they're going to take a step back. You know, they're, they're a good option as, as uh, well. They're going to run the ball a lot. 
Uh, Treader's a great run, uh, elite run blocker, but I just think title, title contention is not quite in the in the Trey Lance's future right now, at least not this year. He needs time to learn, time to get better. Uh, coming from training camp so far and uh, and and uh, early mini camps, they had the remote, the rumors from there hasn't been too good on 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 uh, on Trey Lance. You know they've been saying his arm get tired and other things, accuracy issues. So we'll see with him. Uh, Kirk Cousins and the Vikings, yeah, they might have a top offense, but overall they're not true title. They're not even playoff contenders barely. You know they're barely even that. So. Um, no, and then Dolphins, they had the big Tua issue. You know, that's why they wanted Tom Brady. That's why the rumor was Tom Brady was, was going to go there. The Bucks wouldn't acquiesce to his wants, so he ended up coming back to the Bucks. So, you know, uh, that's the rumor there. So, um, I'm, I'm a big Tua guy, but this definitely is a is a is a proven year for for uh, Tua. He has weapons. You know, why not add Treader? But if I'm Treader, I'm like, why would I go there? You know, I'm a waste of a one year with Tua. And then I'm going to wait for them to draft another young quarterback maybe or get a vet that, you know, so uh, it's real tricky, real funny, you know, so it's a real funny market. And and you have to, I have to kind of think and put this in, in perspective too. Yeah, teams have definitely been calling Treader, but he's been giving them the runaround probably. You know what I'm saying? In, 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 a, in a professional way, you know, I'm going to still hold off till here. I'm going to still wait a little longer. I'm going to just view my options and let everything come in, you know. And teams do have backup um, con- con- contingency plans, you know. The uh, Niners have um, shucks, uh, Jake something, Jacob something, John. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot his name. Let me look his name up real quick to be respectful, because I had his name in the title of the video. Uh, I had a mailbag question about the Niners signing Treader just last week, and I answered that question. I said they definitely should sign him, but they do have a guy they like. Uh, what is his name? Jake Brindle. Jake Jake Brindle. I, um, I had a mailbag question. Just last week, and it was, should the Niners sign J.C. Treader or start Jake Brindle? The report from 49ers are they like Jake Brindle, um, so they're going to ride with him for right now, same as the Bucks. Um, the the Bucks reportedly like their guy, um, Hainsey, so they'll see what they have first in training camp, and then we'll see what, whether or what team gets uh, Treader. You know, I think the Bucks. If he had, his, I think if he had his pick, if the Bucks want him, I think he's going down to um, Tampa. Uh, you know, but it's all it's all up to team need, team want, and team fit. He fits all three teams, well, all four teams: Bucks, Vikings, Niners, and um, Dolphins. But I, I, I would think if the Bucks come calling out of all those four teams, I would run to the Bucks. <laughs> you know, uh, that's kind of common sense. So uh, we'll see what happens, though. You know, all. Teams probably will offer him a four. I mean, offer him a one-year deal. I don't think none will offer him a multi-year deal. So, to me, it's all about winning. Best chance at winning, and I would say the Bucks first. Probably Niners. Even not what I said about Trey Lance is probably true. You know, or if it is true, um, if he's not ready yet, they might have a better chance because of their defense and the overall team better than the Dolphins and Tua. So I think Lance is better than Tua right now, at least on the same level, and might be safer with the ball, with a stronger arm. So, you know, I'll say the Niners, then Dolphins, then Vikings. Uh, but we'll see what happens, man. Uh, hope the best for him, you know, but uh, I think he will be a Buccaneer after it's all said and done in the J.C. Treader sweepstakes. So that's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.